Hey guys, it's Bub here. In this video, we're taking a look at Windows 7 build 6519. Windows 7 build 6519 is a milestone one build of Windows 7 that is honestly pretty interesting to take a look at. It's interesting to see the development history of Windows operating systems, especially Windows 7, just because it, it, it was relatively smooth. There was no resets like Windows Longhorn. There was no real Metro in the middle thing like Windows 8, and there was no new concepts like the Windows 10 start menu. Windows 7 went pretty smooth sailing, which is why I'm excited to take a look at it. So I already did this, but the BIOS date has to be set to about 12-20-2007 for the time bomb reasons. If you don't know, Windows builds are time bombed, so if you don't have the time set right, it will not install, it won't boot, it won't really do anything. So as we can see, we really bypassed straight over the starting Windows screen. It just said loading files. I'm not sure if this is what they're calling the loading screen or what this really is, but I've never seen that animation like that on any other Windows OS before, which makes me think again, this, this is their version. Yep, th that literally was the startup screen. Okay. So we can see we have the Windows Vista background here, which again, this was 2007. This is the same year roughly that Vista came out. It even still says Windows Vista. So we don't actually need a product key. We can skip that. Um, again, they all still identify as Vista. We'll go with Vista Ultimate. Um, but it does say pre-release Windows 7. So again, we are in that weird stage where things are kind of half-baked, baked, kind of not really. It's weird. All right, and here we are. We are in the setup. So I'm going to make my username just Windows for now. Windows PC, blah, 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 ask me later, yeah, yeah, whatever. We are now logging in to Windows Vista, or Windows 7 build 6, I actually forgot, 6519. Okay, so the first thing I'm a little worried about is actually VMware tools, because I know that, Win that Windows Vista has some weird things with VMware tools, but is this going to take Windows 7 VMware tools? Typically, Windows betas don't, take any type of tools they just don't work so I'm, I'm actually wondering if this is okay so that's not gonna work let's try the Windows Vista tools alright let's try these nope okay so I guess we're not getting VMware tools so we're gonna have to scale or change the resolution which is probably gonna cause a little bit of appearance issues We'll go 768 just so we don't lose too much functionality. You see we're already lagging, and we'll just scale it up. All right, so this is Windows 7 build 6519. As we can see, it looks very much like Windows Vista because it basically was. Some things off the bat, the first two things I noticed that are different is the feedback button, which this is actually pretty cool. So we can go, okay, optimize for entertainment, scenario, TV, Frequency always, this OS is great. If I could type, we'll give it five stars, include a screenshot, submit. Bam. We don't even have any internet connection. It didn't give us an error. I'm convinced that this doesn't even go anywhere. Anyways, we also have the Windows 7 Rate Your Experience, which is literally... Are these the same thing? Yeah, those are actually just the same thing. So that's that's nice. Let's go in the start menu. Let's see what we have that regular Windows didn't have. We have TS Workspace, which I'm actually not sure what this is. Looks like some sort of something, something. I, I actually don't know. Uh, Windows Meeting Space. You have all your typical Windows apps. Accessories. We have EUCD Edit, which I don't believe this came with Windows Vista or 7 must be a diagnostic thing here accessories uh, network projection I want to say this was new in Windows 7 but I could very well be wrong um, that's about it that's new here system tools tablet PC whatever administrative tools looks normal uh, extras and upgrades Windows ultimate extras I mean that's just a Windows ultimate thing not necessarily anything else games we still have inkball which I don't believe that was in 7. Maintenance. Programs. We have a lot of the stuff that we already saw up at the top. Uh, we also have PowerShell 1.0, which I believe that PowerShell was new at this point. I don't think that PowerShell was included in Vista. 
as well as Windows PowerShell. We already looked at that startup. I mean, yeah. So at this point in the development history, remember, Windows Vista had just came out in 2007, so this is late 2007, early 2008 that this build was compiled. So, I mean, we're still a lot like Windows Vista. I mean, the fact that that, that looks different. I don't know why that looks like that. Um, personalize, are there any new desktop backgrounds? No, I mean, this all looks like Windows Vista stuff. There's no real Windows 7. I like this background, though. We're going to go to that. Um, there's no real special anything really here. Uh, if we preview the Windows logo, uh, there is no Windows logo. That is also a nice screensaver that we have right there, but the Windows logo just doesn't exist, apparently. Must not have had a Windows logo yet. <laughs> um, the theme is still called Windows Vista. But yeah, so a lot of stuff still identifies itself as Vista, which is to be expected. You know, I'm not expecting them to completely perform the transformation uh, that quick. But, you know, it does identify itself as Windows 7 Ultimate. So, you know, it is what it is. It does work. It's actually interesting, you know, just to see this in-between build. Uh, this came with Internet Explorer. Why don't I know how to get to the about? I actually don't know how to get to what version of Explorer this is. I feel really stupid right now. Okay, you know what? That, that doesn't even matter, okay? We're just going to close this out. So that being said, I mean, this was just the basic overview of Windows 7 build 6519. Really interesting to see the progression and how Windows has changed over time. So that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe for new around here as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including restorations. With that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.